<clears throat> Brick Maniacs, welcome back to another episode of Brick Mania TV. We're back. I haven't been here for a while, yeah, so I'm excited. I'm excited too. You know why I'm excited? Why? Because you have a Merkava tank. That's true. Right here, in all its glory. Yes, that's right. Welcome back, Brick Maniacs. John has his all new Merkava tank. The Merkava tank, yes. The awaited for the, the blessed tank? No. <laughs> the chosen tank. The cho well, Israel chose this tank. That's, that's true. Mm -hmm. For 40 years, they chose this tank. Yeah. yeah, that's their favorite. It's their favorite. It's a good obviously. tank. It's a good tank. It's up there. I hear it's up there. It's the best tank. Some well, say. As some sources say, it's the best tank. As Herr Fitzer might say, every country believes their main battle tank is the best in the world. Yep. Okay, so Israel will say, yes, this is the best tank in the world. In true, in fact, it's one of the best tanks in the world. It, it is. is one of the best. Yes, tanks. it's awesome. It's. Cool about this, the way uh, I made the turret with the barrel attachment, it can actually depress or it can elevate. Look at that. Very cool. So important that it can depress because it is designed to be, you know, able to go to, to high spots and then point down. Right. Yeah. Like most tanks should it should be able to do that in the modern era. <laughs> anyway. Shooting down on the stuff. <laughs> Shooting down on the stuff, right? So they can stay in a protected position, right? Yep. And then be able to aim at their targets below. That's right. So target practice, of course. Yeah. This is a really, it's got a really uh, futuristic turret on the market. It does. It does. It's a, it's a humongous tank yeah. compared to other main battle tanks. Um, you can actually, there's, I believe there, you, the actual tank would come with a crew of four. Yeah. You'd have a crew of four. And I believe you can fit up to eight, or is yeah. it 12? I believe it's eight. Uh, I believe it's eight. So eight soldiers can actually fit in the back of the tank. Which is crazy to think about. Like, yes. tank is, tanks are, you know, They're not supposed to be the armored part. personnel vehicles right. or, you know, transporting troops. So what was the, the, what's the reasoning behind that, being able to have so many people? So sort of simplifying logistics. Right. Well, you also want tank support. So yeah. in the in day and age of, you know, RPGs being so plentiful on the battlefield, it's good to have, although it has its systems to protect against mm -hmm. other tanks and RPG fire and so forth, but having infantry support is, is crucial and still in the battlefield. It's, right. it, not Absolutely. much has changed since uh, World War II and such. So yeah, it's, um, and what's neat about it. Uh, we want to show off. Yeah, so talking, wanna, about, yeah. talking about the troops uh, in the back, there's this, opening door here Check in the back. Out. So that's where they would enter and leave the tank from uh, this this spot here. And of course that closes up for protection. Nice. Like that. So it buttons up just so. Nice. And yeah, so it's a, it's, it's a way for them to be able to move in and out of the tank from the back to protect themselves from right. enemy fire and so forth. So yeah, uh, it's a pretty cool tank. Um, yeah, you want to let's just go over some cool different features that you built into this guy. Yeah, so of course, you know, when you look at the real thing, now I was going to say, when I'm working on one of these tanks, I tend to look visually first, right? So I look at, I want to get the tank's dimensions right as far as making it minifig scale, mm -hmm. 135th scale, right? So, you know, we do our normal printing out the, the layout to be the size it's supposed to be for 135th scale, lining it up along the pages to make sure it's the right height and length and, and so forth and so on. So that's what I'm working on first is the visuals. And then I go back and go, wait a minute, it has this system, it has that system, it has a 50 cal on the front, it has, you know, this look to the barrel. Uh, the barrel should actually do this and that. So, but first, primarily, I'm visually trying to duplicate it but in this scale. So, so yeah, so it does have, again, the depressing and elevating barrel, um, 50 caliber on the front. It's got the smoke grenades you can launch, which is anti-tank and anti-infantry, really, if you think about it, because it can hide itself from view. Um, it also has this um, trophy system. So trophy. Remember Yitzi? Yes. We saw Yitzi recently said, yeah. make sure 
I hope, John, that you put on the trophy system. Trophy system is an anti, um, let's see here. So I get it right. Just it's an active, it right. military active protection system, APS for vehicles. So basically what it does is a projectile comes close, it shoots off a shotgun blast of sorts to stop the shell, actually quite close actually usually yeah. to the to vehicle Just, I mean, itself. it tries to dissipate as much of the ener ener energy of the warhead prior to impact. Right? Exactly, so they use this on light vehicles, they use this on heavy vehicles. Yeah. Um, it's a very effective system, um, and it's really just to supplement the armor, basically sure. is what, it, what it's for, is you have your armor protection, but this is actually a little bit, uh, keep, keep the projectile from. Right. Actually making direct contact. We don't want direct contact, no. okay? Maybe with aliens, but not with RPGs. So aliens. Um, aliens. Another defensive uh, countermeasures would be these dreadlocks. I've heard them called. In the back. <laughs> yeah. So right. And um, you know, w when I do this, I'm like, I, I didn't have that on there. And uh, I think maybe you and Dan oh, yeah. said, Hey, have that. where's the uh, where's the the, the, the hair the, the hair yeah. in the back of the uh, in the back of his neck. Right. So. There's a couple ways we could have done it. There's that little chain piece that has a ball on the end. Mm -hmm. I think it's in Jago sets. But uh, I thought, well, maybe this would be, it, it won't be as long as those. Those would kind of sure. hang down too far. Sure. So we used a, a series of chains kind of over, overlapping themselves to make that nice, sort of like the right distance down. Mm -hmm. And now it, it does cover up what it's supposed to do, which is if there was something coming to basically that's a weak spot on most tanks is right. where the turret attaches to the chassis or the base of the tank. Right. So this will actually intercept a blast as well. I understand well. there's actually explosives like embedded into that, into the chain, so it's. Yeah, okay, so that's, you, you know something I don't know about it, so. That's what Slam, who designed the stickers for this tank, that's what Slam, he's telling me. Slam, when he's researching a kit because he's making the stickers, which he did, I mean, if you look at the stickers. It's all decked out. That it's have cool. been implied on here, some beautiful stickers. Beautifully made um, to, to, to give you the look of the tires, to give you the insignia on the front, um, the viewports, the lights, viewport there. Um, you have a little. Uh, nope. <gasps> man down, man down. It's Box gone. of food on the back. No, I got it right here. It's gone. Why is our <laughs> floor Lego one. colored? This, is what, this one's just for fun. This says Andy's Toys. Where did that go? This. <sighs> <laughs> it has something to do with food. I can't remember. Slam told me what it what it said, but anyways, that's 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 your food for your long trips across the desert. And it's right? just toys, I guess. And that's just for fun. You don't have to put it on if you don't want to. It's it's just really. Um, you get a gas can. You get a little doohickey there. That's what I call it, a doohickey. Doohickey. Um, but yeah, it's gr great job on the stickers. Again, this here is the trophy system. This is what's actually sensing approaching sure. projectiles and so forth. It's cool how there's just little pops of color on this on this model. Yeah, nice. it it was when I was looking over it again visually. This was it's always nice to, because the world of most of these vehicles is very drab, right. grays and blacks and you know whatever. Right. So adding a little bit of color when we can, it's it it helps the look of the vehicle. It's actually very appropriate because this sure. is that really close to the actual color that you mm. see when you're looking at the um, images yeah, for this in, tank. In real so. life, the, I think the most modern variants are kind of this really dark olive drab color, and this is this is one of the close approximations in Lego. I think some people were asking why we didn't make it in like dark tan because <sighs> you usually see them; they are they're but they're, they're covered completely in dirt. Completely covered. Like, these things are gnarly looking when they're out in the field. They're completely they're, covered in, in dirt. They're kind of an army green. Yeah. Right, so closest approximation, like you said, is uh, dark bluish gray. So as this far is as like, Lego goes. this is fresh off the factory line. Maybe got to throw some some dust all they over. They just this washed thing. it, you just know. Just washed it. It's a new. Got as detailed. The, now, let's we talk about the. Now we can talk about the commander. Now, yes. of course, first we we're thinking about this character, but this character would be more of battling the Merkava. Wouldn't that be cool to have like a futuristic movie with the Merkava <laughs> tanks, and then the predators? I guess it does kind of look like. They're similar. It's just <laughs> <laughs> but this is the actual uh, commander, which uh, you did a beautiful job in Thank designing you. the commander. And you want to tell them why you chose her? Yeah, um, so this past year was uh, marks the um, first time that they've had an all-female crew in the, uh, for these tanks. So I thought that was a notable event. So we chose uh, to do a That's female excellent. face on that. Um, 
Yeah, and this is a, it's a it's a pretty basic uniform. Uh, it's like a coveralls, and then there is some sort of flak jacket. And on top of that flak jacket, it's like this ammo or, or pouches, or this harness that goes around it in kind of that different green color, that more, of, more of a forest green color to that. Um, so this would be a, a crew of all, like all female mm -hmm. crew? Yeah. All female crew. And of course, the rest of the crew, they've washed the tank. That's why it's That's why. completely clean. But it's kind of interesting, actually, if you look at um, images of this tank when, it's, when they're in training, there's a guy sits on top. Yeah, they have the uh, behind the commander the chair. So telling the commander, you know, basically trying to keep them from falling over a cliff or you know whatever it is they're trying to train them to do as far as being in combat. But yeah, it's a gorgeous tank. Again, it is very futuristic looking. Um, it's got some neat features for for them on the battlefield. The opening door in the back. So like you said, the the features that we needed to put in here. Make sure the gun depresses. Put the M2HB on the front and then make sure we have the door in the back. That's right. So, um, Cool, any other features you want to point out or? Uh, no, it, yeah. does, it does roll real nicely, mm -hmm. right? Um, no, uh, opening hatches on top. Opening hatches, closing yeah. hatches. Whoa, now come on. Now you're asking for way too much, I mean. No, they close, they close. They, well, I'll okay. Prove it. Watch this. Yes. Okay, I'll get it, I'll get it, I'll get it. There, closed. Closed hatches. You also have a, a M60 on here, uh, which is supposed to be comparable to the uh, 7.62 millimeter they have for the, I believe this is the gunner side or the second in command side. Um, and then this would be the commander side. They're just so hanging out. She would actually be over there. She's just hanging out over there. But yeah, I hope you enjoy the tank. Um, but no. yeah, you get this tank, you won't regret it. It's a great tank. There's only. X amount, yeah. so don't hesitate. How many did we do with this one? Fifty? We only did fifty on this one. We only did fifty. This is a, this is a, a shorter run of tanks here, um, and it's gonna go fast. And you know, I probably not gonna see it again. Probably not. Probably Maybe, not. There's who knows? Who knows? We might do like a, a a poll at the end of the year, do a vote. We'll see. But for now, there's only plan for one batch of this tank. We just right. want, we're trying to cover all of our bases. So. Yes, we're we're doing the whole series. A main battle tanks from yep. the Abrams with the Tuscan Crows to yeah. There's some more coming, okay. But this one's this one's the one to get. That's you it. know why? Because I'm endorsing it. Nice. <laughs> Take John's word for it. Uh, that is the Merkava designed by John. Nice job, John. For more information, check out Brickmania.com. Dot com. That's copyright infringing, and now you're getting sued. Oh, God. Uh, be minute, sure to like, wait a minute, comment, there's, there's and information subscribe. Here. Ding the bell. No more information. There's no more information. That no. is it. That is it. That, that is, is it. it. That is it. Shut up, John. <laughs> Go get out. Okay, yeah. Dot com. <laughs>